Hey guys, welcome back to another video by jmadden184 and to all my new subscribers, a big welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm pretty excited, I'm finally going to share with you guys a, a review of the uh, Ecotech Vortec MP10s that I've been using on my system now for roughly a year now and uh, let me tell you, two MP10s on a 60 gallon tank just does absolutely awesome. I mean this is a four foot tank and they they rock. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna talk a little bit about the good things about these pumps, uh, some of the things I don't like about these pumps, and I'm gonna give you a quick uh, review of the stuff that comes with it and I'm also gonna show you how to go through the different modes and set up your very own wave in your tank. So let's get to it guys and dive right in here. I went ahead and I pulled the drivers off where I had them mounted and I just set them up here on the uh, on the doors of the tank just so you can get a good feel for what they look like when we uh, get into programming a wave and cycling through the different modes. Uh, first off we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about the uh, packaging and pretty much everything that comes with it. Uh, of course you're going to get the box here. Uh, it's you know it's a box, great. And you can see here a side view of what the pump looks like. It's a two-part pump. Uh, on the left side of the box there you can see the that's the wet side which houses the impeller and the protective guard and on the outside is where the actual pump itself is and the wiring which leads to the drivers. Uh, it's really great. Um, the one thing I really like about the pump is the limited footprint that's within your system. Uh, you don't have like a huge power head sticking out, you know, four or five inches into the tank. It just kind of gives it that really clean, you know, look. And I, and I like the clean look. I don't like a lot of equipment and stuff uh, showing inside of my system. So first thing is, you know, you go ahead, you open up the box, and when you open it up, uh, the pump is displayed nicely inside. Uh, the packaging is really great. Um, also inside, you're going to find a few things here. Uh, first thing you're going to have is this right here. This is pretty cool. Um, I had no use for this, but I can understand how this could be helpful. Uh, what this is, this is a foam guard that actually you take on the pump and you slide it over the uh, wet side. And this is good because let's say you have these pumps in your tank and you know you want to have an anemone of some sort. And we all know that anemones have the tendency to roam around your tank. Well this will prevent the anemone from getting sucked in to the intake side of the pump. Now I wouldn't recommend running this on your pump all the time. Um, I'd probably just run it on there until your anemone gets settled in because this is just gonna really restrict the flow of the pump and it's gonna trap all kinds of debris in it. So just use this sparingly, especially for whenever you're putting in a, a sensitive invert like a like an anemone. Also, it comes with a couple of uh, Velcro here, a piece of Velcro with adhesive siding. Uh, use these to mount your uh, controllers. Uh, just some double-sided tape. Uh, the controllers aren't very heavy, so this is more than enough to hold them in place. So that's really cool. Also, you get these here. These are by uh, 3M. And what it is, is it's adhesive on one side, and the other side, it has a spot where you can anchor zip ties. And the way this works is, uh, what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to place it on the uh, outside of the glass. And you stick it on there and then you put the zip tie around the wire here because this pump is attached only by a magnet. By a magnet. The magnetic force between the uh, drive side and the wet side is what keeps it on the glass. So if your tank is in a high traffic area and there's an opportunity for someone to bump it, I would highly recommend using this uh, little mounting kit. Also you get this here. What this is, this is a, a rubber pad. Um, what it's for is it's used to uh, reduce the uh, vibrations of the pump. Uh, you basically take this, put it on the uh, dry side of the pump, and it reduces the noise. Um, the noise is usually occurs if the uh, thickness of your glass is below a quarter of an inch. Uh, that's when you want to use this uh, particular item here. Also you get the uh, warranty registration 
uh, for your um, for your pump. And if you register, you know, you get a cool little subscription to Coral Magazine, which is pretty neat. The other item here that's really nice is the uh, Quick Start Guide. Yeah, we get a little bit of light. Yeah, the Quick Start Guide. Um, it covers the MP40 and the MP10 wireless with the EcoSmart drivers. Um, this this guide is really great. It's very detailed in how it describes everything. Um, you know, it shows you how the pump goes together because this is really important, especially when you're doing maintenance on this pump. Uh, you know, you want to pull the pump out. You know, every few months or so and give it a really good soak, especially the uh, wet side of the uh, of the pump uh, to get it clean so you maintain adequate flow of it. Continuing on through it here, real short, um, it also talks about the placement of your pumps depending upon what you want to do. Uh, it shows you examples of where to place the pump depending upon the mode that you want to run and when you assign your pumps because these pumps um, with the versions I have, the uh, wireless versions, uh, they communicate to each other and depending upon what mode you're running in determines uh, where the pump needs to be placed. Uh, this right here is a really cool section inside this guide. Inside of here. Uh, what you're going to see here is you're going to see a list of all the different modes and they give you little uh, line graphs here and bar graphs that show the uh, the waveform that's actually gonna be occurring on each pump um, as you can see here like on here let's say in this mode you're running three separate pumps so one pump is in orange one pump is in blue and one pump is in white and it's showing you throughout the duration of the program what each pump is going to be doing so you can kind of get an idea of what's going to be happening in your tank uh, before you set it up uh, you have all the different modes. Uh, the uh, the mode that I like to run my pumps in is the uh, EcoSmart, the uh, nutrient transport mode, which is right here, uh, this section right here. Um, it's really great. It actually, as you can see from the diagram, it gives you a pulsing wave action, and then it also kind of gives you a, uh, a downtime where it's just kind of like minimal amount of flow, so it really mimics... Uh, the way the ocean occurs and I really like that mode. It keeps a lot of the uh, nutrients and detritus suspended uh, in the water column so it can be taken out by your overflow. And here's just a list of the programming and how to set anything up. Now one of the things that I don't like about this guide is that it's really basic. It doesn't show you how to set up and create a standing wave in your tank. So as you can see here when you look at my tank here you're gonna notice the surface of the water. See how it's rocking like that? Well it doesn't show you in the guide how to how to do it. So I'm gonna give you an example of with the way my pump is set up and how I can adjust this wave. So Right now it's at about a third of the way and I'm just going to crank it up to about 80% and you're going to see the difference in the wave that forms. So yeah, so you can see the, uh, the amount of wave generation here is crazy in the 60 gallon tank. And as you can see the way the pumps are set up here, the uh, um, driver on the right side is actually the master. Now the master the master drive is the one that controls everything so if I reach over here and let's say I turn this back down the one on the left is gonna mirror it. See that? We can take it all the way down and it'll go down. We can go all the way up here and you'll see how they're uh, set up in an anti-sync mode which is the mode I like to run and it really creates a great wave. I mean you can see it here. I mean everything's just rocking and rolling. Uh, sometimes I like to 
turn the pumps up like this sometimes to really kick up all the debris but the efficiency of these pumps I mean you can just look at my water there's really not much blowing around at all so let's go ahead and turn this pump back down and get these guys to <laughs> kind of calm down a little bit here uh, so yeah so um, you can also on here you can cycle through the different programs let me get here to the start you have this one here which is your um, just your constant speed mode and what it's going to do is see if I can get a shot of it both here in the photograph and the picture it's just a constant speed of the pump so you turn it all the way down you got nothing you come all the way up and you'll see the pumps react so you just get a constant flow in one direction here non-stop the uh, next mode that you're going to run into is your nutrient transport mode and this mode here is you can get to it by hitting the set button it'll take you to the uh, eco smart nutrient transport now this is the mode that I use because like I said as you can see here indicated by these controllers you're getting the wave so this I feel is one of the best ones uh, the uh, next mode you have a reef crest and lagoonal swell mode uh, lagoonal swell mode is really nice because what it does is over time it will gradually increase and decrease the flow within the tank and then you can go over here and you can just push this again and you'll go into another mode it's called reef crest and reef crest mode is pretty awesome if you have a high energy SPS tank you'll get um, a lot of current that just blasts in I mean it's you can set the the max speed of it and what will happen is throughout the program the speed will increase and decrease really quick so you kinda get that surging action like that surging action um, that you'd see on like a high energy reef crest and then there's this mode here uh, this is short pulse mode and I'm gonna show you how to make a wave real quick uh, right now as you can see the pumps are really cranking and basically first thing you do is you select the maximum speed that you want um, so I usually also stick it right about here about 70% or so you hit set and then you can adjust the uh, duration of the pulse the time of the wave here so what you can do is you can crank it all the way up and you'll get this little pulse like this notice the anemone but if you come back over here and let's say you turn it all the way down you'll get this motion, it'll be really quick and a really good indication as you can see here how fast it is so it's to me this mode I really don't like it um, but you can set up and you can get a nice balance out of your waves and then you can select your next one which will take you to long pulse mode and this mode I do like this one here okay, let's say we set it up to about here at about 90 percent set it and if you turn it way down I mean it's going to give you a pulse between you know probably about just a few seconds here it's about three second pulse very fast and uh, this one I really like I mean you can kind of really get a good shift and flow in your tank um, and if you just notch it up just one it'll take you to every 20 seconds so you can 
see here in the tank, you know, the flow is coming from over here, being sucked up and thrown out the top, and then you're going to see it switch. Watch the pump controller at the bottom, and watch the pump in the tank. And there it goes, it kicks over. You get a nice surge, which is really cool. Um, pretty much anything that you want these pumps to do or to simulate, get it back to where I let, where I keep it normally. They're gonna do it for you. After about a year or so now of owning these pumps. I will say that it is definitely the best investment I've made on the tank. So I'm going to wrap this up now. I hope you guys found this video uh, informative and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Um, if you guys want me to keep doing uh, reviews on my equipment, you know, let me know. Uh, like my videos, uh, that will really show me that you, know, you guys are into it and you are enjoying getting something out of these videos. And as always, if you haven't already, subscribe up. Many, many more videos to come, uh, specifically in this uh, equipment review series of the stuff that I, the equipment that I use on my tank. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. This is Jay Man One Eight Four signing out. And as always, take care and happy reefing, fellas. Take it easy.